Hello viewers, followers, friends, etc. It's Francis Jeffrey coming to you again from South Bend. Hello. My name is Francis Jeffrey. I'm a professionally trained photographer based in the area. And, and a couple of months ago, I walked down this street and noticed that um, interesting log. And uh, I, I figured that now would be the perfect time to come back and photograph it. Okay. Right. Now, generally, I don't get permission from people to do this because I stay on the street or easement, and it makes people upset sometimes when they see somebody photographing their house. Okay. Um, oh, no, there's a thing on the other side, too, if you want to come take a look. Well, I am video recording on my phone right now. Okay. Um, I don't want to walk on your property and video record without your permission. I just no, want to... Well, like I said, if you want to walk up there, I'll let you walk up there and look at it. Ah. I, I was looking at this. Okay. Oh, I thought you meant on the other side of the property there was... No, no, no. If you wanted to look at that, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, I have no reason to know why you're down there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, I was noticing from the street that uh, the windows were curtained over there, and due to how the lighting is hitting this, and it's dark over here and bright over there, that it would be more interesting to photograph it okay. from uh, from this perspective due to the effect that that's creating. Okay. Um, so, uh, so, yeah, I'll just walk around the other end of it briefly. Ah. Yeah, the front end of it is definitely more interesting. Now, if you go to 500px.com and look up photogenicconnections.com on there, you'll come up with my profile. Okay. I've got photographs of a lot of houses in South Bend. And that's just because, unfortunately, I'm stuck living in South Bend in... Uh, there isn't much scenery except for people's yards and people's houses in South Bend. Yeah, you don't put the address out or anything, do you? Well, if the address is visible, I might, but I'm but I'm not doing it with no, no, this. I just, you know, we don't have people come down here. Yeah, I know. All right, well, I'll take my photos and be on my way. You're welcome. Have a good day. Happy Halloween. So now you've gotten an explanation as to why this is something worth photographing. That conversation um, changed to the time in which the photograph was taken a little bit. So the lighting is not as good as it was when I first arrived on scene, but still. This is a good photo. That was 
the misfire. Now, the, the photo needs some burning in Photoshop due to the highlights and the window on the leftmost side of the image it needs to be cropped out. But this is another great Halloween photograph. When I was out here a couple of months ago, there weren't Halloween decor on that thing. It was just a face. But um, still, it is very interesting. It's actually even more interesting now that there is Halloween decor on it. And the Halloween decor is in darkness, but the rest of the image, for the most part, is in brightness. So this is just another experience I've had that I can add to my resume of experiences taking photos in South Bend. Bye-bye. I'll see you all in the next video.